Welcome to another episode of Quiet in the Library. I am your host, Reggie. We're actually going to be going over some really cool stuff inside of the Dragon Age lore today. We actually have one of the books from Dragon Age Inquisition called Hard in Hightown. It has been written by Varric, who is a very integral character in the game, a dwarf who's part of the Merchant's Guild, who is a fantastic author, and this book is actually available in all places that you can get books. Um, it is just going to be titled Hard in Hightown. You'll be able to find the title um, under Varric Tethrys. So if you look on Amazon or if you go to, you know, eBay or any place that you purchase books, you'll certainly be able to find this one. So we're actually going to go through the first chapter of this um, just to give everybody a little bit taste. So let's go ahead and get into it. They say coin never sleeps. But anyone who's walked through Kirkwall's high town market at midnight would disagree. The pickpockets and confidence men head to the taverns at dusk. The shouts of the huskers fade into the echoes. The dwarven businessmen go back to their tiny palaces to count the ways that they got cheated and polish their ancient grievances. The market falls silent, except for the sea wind whistling its lullaby through the empty shop stalls. The only souls who visit the market late at night are looking for trouble, one way or another. Donin Brenokovic knew every angle of the market with his eyes closed. He was a man composed entirely of differing shades of faded brown, from the gray-sprinkled brown of his bushy sideburns, to his perpetually squinty hazel eyes, to the freckles dotting his nose and cheekbones and even down to the stained and sun-bleached uniform that he had once, in better time, and in with better care, been red. Twenty years of patrols had chiseled the stones of every street and alley in Kirkwall into him, so that he walked a beat even in his dreams. The recruit was another story. The ring of steel striking stone told Donnan that Javelin had stumbled into a column again. His new armor would be full of dents by sunrise. Donnan tried not to smile. Usually Hightown was the safest patrol in Kirkwall, but usually guardsmen didn't go there three rounds with gravity and lose. Javelin was closer to round six by now. The sound as Javelin hauled himself off the pavement was like a tinker's cart going downstairs. Javelin was tall and shaped like a badly blunted arrowhead, broad across the shoulders and tapering down to his feet. None of his armor fit, and every piece seemed to be alternately attempting to leap from the recruit's body and smother him. His pale, blue-eyed face was lost under his immense bucket-like helmet. Donnan watched him struggle to his feet from the dull block flagstones, and wondered if the quartermaster gave Jevlin that gear as a joke. Torches would make this easier, Jevlin muttered. Torches make you night blind. You'll adjust, Donnan crossed the square to help the kid to his feet. Just try to stay away from the stairs, would you? With your luck, you'd fall all the way down to the quays. How many years do I have to walk this patrol before I stop tripping? Jevlin grumbled. Thirty? Forty? One of his pauldrons had been jammed at an awkward angle by his fall. He smacked his shoulder repeatedly, clanging like a cheap dinner bell, trying fruitlessly to shove the plate back into place. Why would you want to retire and give all this up? Donnan grabbed the recruit's arm and pulled the errant pauldron back into position. Hard as it is to imagine, kid. You'll get tired of all this excitement and glamour eventually. A breeze whisked across the plaza, sending the satin banners and pennants of the merchant's stalls shivering and carrying an old familiar scent. Donnan stopped in his tracks. Something's wrong. His voice was low and hushed. He peered into the dark 
at the mezzanine just above the square. Follow me. Be ready for trouble. With Jevlin somehow managing to stumble only twice, the two guards climbed the dark stairs. The recruit caught his breath, leaning against the low stone balustrade of the mezzanine squinting into the dark as if it might improve his night vision. What is it? he whispered. What are we looking for up here? Donnan didn't answer. He didn't need to see. Following his nose like a hound, it was close. He knew. The air was heavy and still upon the mezzanine, almost sticky with a sweetish smell like raw meat. And there, in a puddle of shadow, he found the body. Gold-trimmed satin glittered through the blood. Donnan let out a weary sigh. Get the captain. We've got a dead magistrate. Who is he? Jevelyn asked as the older guardsman knelt and carefully turned the body over onto its back. No idea. That's why you need to go get the captain, Donnan replied as he carefully pulled the torn, blood-soaked fabric away from the dead man's chest to get a better look at him in the dim moonlight of the wide, ragged stab wounds beneath. We need someone who knows the city's officials to identify him. But you know he's a magistrate. Recruit! Donnan snapped. This guy's not getting any fresher. The kid looked like he was about to argue for half a second, then saluted and ran for the keep. Armor clattering like a wagon full of pans, he disappeared into the dark and quiet settled back into the plaza. Donnan stretched and watched the moon drift behind the choir of the chantry, casting the market into even deeper shadow. In his experience, while everyone from the beggars in Darktown to the Viscount himself might say they hated their local magistrate, the people most unlikely to take a swing and at one were the other magistrates. Untangling this mess could take months. Months he didn't have left. Thanks everyone for listening to a very short excerpt from Hard and High Town. Uh, we're going to be continuing reading this book along with other books that we have from the Skyrim universe inside of the Elder Scrolls. So stay tuned for that. And again, thank you for listening to Quiet in the Library.